Hey everybody, this is Tim. Welcome back to another episode of Boone County Beekeeper. Today is uh, Sunday. It is uh, February the uh, 19th. Uh, it's about 3 o'clock in the day. It's absolutely, it's a gorgeous day. Uh, Mid-60s. It's just, it's been a crazy winter. Uh, really, we've had no winter. We had that one cold spell and that was basically it. It's just been been a crazy up and down roller coaster all all year which is hard on the bees but we're all still alive uh, I just checked on them after church there a while ago all four colonies flying like crazy and the trees here now is getting ready to, to start coming on uh, they're budding out getting ready to bloom it's just it's way too early guys we'll talk about that here in just a little bit now today Got something a little bit different, and uh, I'm afraid I may get a little hate mail on this one today. Uh, I hope not, but uh, just hear my story, and you'll see what I'm talking about. Now, guys, uh, I'll go ahead and play the intro. When we get back, I'll show you what I've done. Hey guys, welcome back. You know, uh, if you've been watching any of my videos, uh, one thing about me, I'm just me. I mean, uh, I don't try to, you know, do this to impress anybody. Sure not doing it to get rich. <laughs> so, uh, I'm just, I do my own thing. I, you know, I just, I'm, I'm just me. Uh, what you see on camera is what you'll see in real life. I'm, I'm the same with everybody. And that's just the way that I am. But, uh, you know, uh, if you look at how I, I do things, you know, uh, I try not to spend a lot of money. Uh, you can't help from spending some money for sure. You know, uh, if you look at my bees, I've never bought a bee. Uh, kind of proud of that. You know, I, I've caught swarms and uh, made splits and done some trading around uh, for my bees and uh, got a very mixed variety of uh, genetics and I like that. Uh, when you get down to equipment, I don't really buy equipment. I mean, I, I make my own. Uh, I make everything from the, the bottom board all the way to the telescoping cover. And uh, I don't know, it's just, uh, it just gives me a good feeling to, to look out there and see a, you know equipment that I've built and bees that I've caught. Uh, it's it's pretty, pretty cool. It's a good feeling. It really is. Now, that being said, uh, 2023 we'll try some different things um, you know I, I built that long hive last year and, and I, I tried it uh, they're still kicking they're doing great uh, I can't wait to see what happens this year with the uh, with the flow and hopefully we will get some honey out of that thing but uh, you know I've never been one to be big on, on following the latest trends or, or whatever you want to call it but uh, there were some things I wanted to try. Uh, one thing was this year uh, at Hive Life, um, I did, I got up with Dustin there from Appalachian uh, Hivery, and I bought some uh, wax dip equipment. I've never, uh, never fooled with wax dip equipment before. Uh, actually, today, like I said, is the 19th of February. Uh, he's supposed to be delivering that here in the next couple weeks, so I'm, I'm anxious to get that and and give that a try. I also tried a, uh, a cypress wax dip box. You know, all my equipment is uh, pine, so kind of anxious to see uh, what that's like. And uh, we'll, we'll do a review on them. We'll see what we think. And uh, another thing, uh, the big thing now seems to be is, is the app amaze. You know, uh, everybody is getting app amaze, and uh, I'm just going to be honest, guys. <laughs> 
that's too rich for my blood. I just, I, I can't do it. They're just, uh, it's hard for me to drop uh, several hundred dollars on a beehive when uh, I can build one, you know, myself. And uh, yeah, I like to try the the thermoplastic uh, type. And uh, there's a, a few out there, and I know Apamay is the, the big winner uh, for sure, but uh, it also has the biggest price tag. You know, I never was born with a, a silver spoon in my mouth, and uh, I don't have anybody uh, knocking on my door saying, here, I want you to try this uh, equipment or whatever. Uh, that just don't happen for me. So everything that I do, I have to, I have to buy on my own. So uh, with that being said, I've done something and probably, well, like I say, probably get a little bit of hate mail on it. But, uh, you know, everybody says, oh, buy, you know, stuff that's made in the U.S. And I do. I try to do that whenever I can. Uh, I, I believe that with all my heart. Uh, the problem is I can't find any plastic equipment that is made in the United States. Uh, there's one that's made by uh, Benefit B. Uh, it's made in China, uh, identical. I mean, I'm talking identical to the Apple May, and uh, about half the price. Uh, there's another one there that is uh, a nail makes it. It's a very good looking hive. I've been watching some videos on that. Uh, John there with uh, Central Beekeeping Supply there in Arkansas, he, he sells those. They are made in Greece. Uh, so everybody says, oh, you know, you need to buy Apamay. Well, Apamay is made in Turkey. You know, it's not even made in the United States. So uh, what, is your, what is your options? I mean, you know, so uh, with that being said, I've done some. I went ahead and, and I wanted to try one, so I, I bought one. So uh, I'll show you what I got, and uh, we'll show you what, what it looks like, what all comes with it. We'll do a couple videos on it there this year, uh, see how it does, uh, see how the bees react to it. Uh, kind of anxious to see how they will do in the winter time. Uh, it seems to be really well built, uh, but I'll show it to you guys. Uh, hang on. All right, guys, so uh, I'm back, and uh, you see here I went ahead and I went with the Benefit B. Uh, wanted to give it a try. Uh, got it in yesterday put it all together. Like I said, this is about half the price of an Apple May. Uh, if you look at this, it's basically the same, guys. I mean, I can't really see any difference in it. I've got a buddy that's got several Apple Mays. Thing seems to be really well built, uh, very heavy. Uh, I'll show you what it all comes with. Uh, you know, actually, it, you get three deeps. Uh, with this here, you cannot get mediums, so uh, you get the deep boxes, uh, three comes with it, and they all latch, they, uh, they lock together just like the Apple May, lids are identical. Um, it comes with, I'll show you some things here. It comes with uh, one divider. Uh, Apple May actually comes with two, but that only comes with one. Uh, you get a queen excluder, uh, same, same type of deal as Apple May. It comes with it. Uh, this one here comes with a, uh, a bee escape. Uh, I thought that was pretty cool, you know, uh, to get your bees out of there for your, your honey. Uh, it comes with your uh, dividers, just like uh, Apple And the bottom board is the same. It comes with a, uh, a pollen trap. And then here's your, uh, your pollen tray. Uh, it all slides right up under it, just like uh, the Apple May. And uh, I don't know, will it hold these? Uh, we're going to find out. I'm kind of to anxious to, to see what happens and uh, see if we can do some good with it. And uh, guys, you know, I'd love to buy an Apple May, but I just, like I said, I just, I can't see putting that much money uh in it. Like I said, you know, this is like I've said before, and I know a lot of people don't like this saying, it's a hobby. Um, you know, I just, I love my bees. I love fooling with bees, and uh, I want to try to take care of them the best I can, and uh, but I just, I don't want to sink a lot of money into it. You know, right now my biggest uh, expenditure, I guess you could say, would be frames and foundation. I could build the frames, but I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I've uh, I've thought about it, and 
it's just not worth it to me. I mean, the time you figure in your time, uh, the time that you figure in all the uh, labor that you put into it, it's better, I think, in my book, just to drop the money and go ahead and get you some frames. Uh, frames and foundation, probably my biggest expense. Right after that would have to be mite treatments. Uh, you know, I got that with Roby, but uh, I, I was lucky enough to have a gift card uh, from my work, so that helped a lot. Uh, chemicals, you know, to uh, to treat your bees. That's probably my second biggest expense. And then, you know, you got uh, you got things like uh, sugar, and then your uh, your jars and stuff for for selling honey. And that's really the only money that I make whatsoever uh, is just selling a little bit of honey here and there. But to be honest with you, I mostly just give it away. So <laughs> it's a hobby. I love it. I really do. But uh, this thing's really it surprised me when it come. I've yeah, you know, I've, I've, I've heard a few things about it. Some say it was good, some say it was bad. Um, it seems to be really well built. Uh, it really does. It's heavy. Uh, the the panels seem to be really good and uh, and insulated good. So I'm kind of curious to see how it does. Uh, the feeder on this thing is basically the same as the Apame. I'll show you. Hang on one second. Uh, the only difference that I can really see is this feeder. You know, Apame comes with two. Uh, this comes with one, and it's uh, it's the same type setup. You know, you have these here. You can flip that around for uh, dry feeding, or leave it like that for uh, sugar syrup. So we'll we'll give it a try, and uh, kind of anxious to get some bees in here just to see how it. Uh, how this thing acts and see what we can do with it. So, uh, guys, that's uh, that's what I wanted to show you today. And uh, I thought I'd go ahead and, and tell you what I did before you look on the a video a little later on to see this thing sitting there. So I just want to go ahead and, and tell you. You know, uh, I do. I believe in buying American. I do. Like I said, if you could tell me a a, a company that sells the plastic uh, the plastic hives. Uh, let me know, man. I'll, I'll give it a try. I will. But uh, we'll try and see what happens. Now, with that being said, let me say this. Uh, let's look forward here. Uh, looking really forward to this season. Uh, you know, like I said, this winter's been crazy. Been really warm. Uh, it's kind of good. It's kind of bad. Now, uh, my bees, man, they have flew almost all winter. They have, and... Uh, They'll be in the box for a couple of days and they're flying four or five days. And then, you know, that's, that's great, but it's also bad because they sure have burnt through a lot of stores. And uh, I'm just so glad that I got in there when I did and uh, we put that sugar on there. A little bit worried about this spring. Uh, you know, uh, right now we got things that's, that's budding out and trying to start blooming. And there's no way that that should be uh, happening right now, guys. It's just it's way too early in my book. And what I'm afraid is going to happen is these early blooms are going to come on and they're going to come early and they're going to get killed. And then uh, that's going to kill our, our honey production, I'm afraid. Uh, hopefully this will all get behind us before it's time for the, uh, for the tulip poplar. You know, that's our, one of our biggest flows here is the tulip poplar and the, and the black locust. Last year was a huge flow on the black locust, so I don't know what it'll do this year. It's usually, uh, it's on and off, so uh, we'll see. Uh, last year, if you remember, the, the basswood, it did not hit. Uh, had good bloom, but it rained so much, and just the nectar, there was no nectar, and we got uh, virtually nothing off of that. So uh, hopefully it'll be a little better this year. Uh, we'll just have to wait and see what happens. But uh, that really, that's all I wanted to do today, guys, is I wanted to get on here and show you this thing. And because uh, you'll definitely probably be seeing it sitting on the stand up there. And I knew I was going to get a lot of questions about it. So I thought I'd just fess up and tell you what I did. And I went ahead and got one. And uh, I would know, listen, Apame, hey, <laughs> if you would like to send me a seven framer or something like that, I would be glad to try it out for you. But I don't see that happening, guys. So, uh, Listen, just take care of yourself, and uh, it's almost time. We got one more, uh, one more episode on the uh, long hive videos, and then uh, that'll be coming to a close. That'll take us into March, and uh, guys, it, it's time. Uh, 
it's here like i said they're starting to uh really do some heavy duty flying pollen should be starting to come in uh, so it's it's getting down to the nitty gritty guys this time so uh that's about all that i have for today uh, i'm gonna go down right now and work on some swarm traps uh almost time to, to get those out i built five more and i gotta go down and finish them up here in a little bit and hopefully i'll get them painted up this week so uh guys just take care of yourself uh god bless you god bless your family and god bless your bees i hope that everybody in your family is well uh, i hope you have a wonderful week and uh guys it's just uh take care of them bees it's it's, it's a very critical time right now to get in there and Make sure that they got stores, cause right now is the time that they uh, we lo lose a lot of bees. Right now, between uh, February and March into April, a lot of people lose a lot of bees. So just uh, get in there and see what you got. And uh, guys, take care, and uh, we'll see you at the next time. So once again, this is Tim, the Boone County Beekeeper. Thanks for stopping by.